Hello and welcome to Wonderland. I need your help. Today we are in London and we're at Harrods and I need to find something to bring home for dinner tonight. So join me down the rabbit hole and we'll find something good to eat together. So welcome back to Wonderland. Today you're gonna help me find something to bring home to David for dinner. I've been in London today and I'm at Harrods, so let's go find something for dinner. Come on, down the rabbit hole. So at Harrods right now, I'm looking. The first thing that I see is the bakery. Oh yeah. Every good meal has some really nice food. Some good breads, definitely. This looks like a lot of patisserie. I see croissants. Oh my goodness. Everything that you could ever want. But this is not what I want, is it? This is not what I'm looking for. I'm looking for, oh yeah, bread. And good bread. I see some sourdough right here. Look at this signature sourdough. It's huge, absolutely huge. Oh yeah, look at all the bread here. Now what kind of bread do I want to take home today? I would love just a gorgeous baguette, because I have a feeling there's going to be some cheese in my repertoire tonight. So yes, we've got little demi baguettes. Ooh. We've got some nice little baguettes right here. Oh yeah. This could be very nice. I'm just looking at this. Just baked. So it is 243. We've got an olive stick, almond croissant. And pretty soon we're gonna have some more sourdough baguettes and savory croissants. Holy guacamole. So many different things. Look at this. There's even pretzels. So if you're hungry for a pretzel, heck, it's only 450. But look at that, beautiful. Oh, and all the twists, look at those. Lovely. So I think I'm gonna go for this guy right here. He looks lovely. A Harrods 48 hour baguette, three pounds. He looks good. I think that will work for what we're trying to do here. A nice baguette. So in this food hall, I see coffee. I see a place to eat. I see oils and vinegars and crisps. So if you're like me, there is nothing like something that is better than sliced bread. Is, is that how it is? Nothing better than sliced bread? Well, here at Harrods, they will slice your sourdough roll, big roll for you and make it into proper pieces of bread. So don't be afraid to ask, they'll do it for you. After all, this is Harrods. So here's something really interesting. They do not check you out at each counter. You have to go stand in line at a central counter. So I've got my bread. I've got my bread. And I'm working my way through a lot of people. But it's okay. Hopefully I will have a bag to put my bread in as well. At Harrods, they have a whole section dedicated to oils and vinegars and sauces. So I'm going to just look over here, all the different pantry things. It looks gorgeous. I'm going to have to spend so much more time here. This looks like, oh, look at that. Lovely, proper salt. All different kinds of salts. We have oils and vinegars right through here. Oh, those things go really well with my lovely baguette. If you're a foie gras fan, you can buy foie gras here. You can buy it, find it. Look at the stuff here. It's all truffle. All truffle. Look at this. So many different truffle pieces. My goodness, look at this. What the heck is truffle buttercream? Truffle artichoke. Oh my goodness. Parmesan and truffle sauce. Wow. 
Oh dear. Truffle in the pasta. I think I found it. Oh my goodness, all the truffle, truffle, truffle. Yeah, you know in Wonderland we love truffle. I am at the patisserie now. Just look what Harrods has for a patisserie. Are they beautiful? Look at that, a chocolate mini Victoria. Five pounds. Look at all of these. They are magnificent. I only wish oh, that my hands weren't so incredibly full. But look at this. They're called long boys. Mm. Ooh, David would love these. Oh my goodness, look at that. Beautiful. Let's wander around here. So at the patisserie area, <laughs> you need to take a, a ticket and wait to be called. But look at this, Raspberry Sharon Eaton Mess with gold on it. How beautiful. And all of the tarts. Look at the tarts. This is called the dawn of a new day. Isn't it beautiful? It is pears poached in Harrods Earl Grey tea, milk chocolate cremo, and mousse sponge and crunch biscuit for nine pounds. Beautiful. Oh my word. Mango. Look at the lemon meringue tarts. Absolutely beautiful at Harrods. Look at these. Oh, chocolate eclairs and oh, mini patisseries. Just beautiful. Oh yeah, Harrods, you know what's going on. You do. <laughs> Look what I see. I see early bits of Christmas. Look at this. It's Christmas time already at Harrods. Oh my words. Look at all of this. Preserves trios. All the different things. I will definitely be coming back closer to Christmas just to show you everything. Yeah, let me show you the bear. Isn't he lovely for 40 quid? Lovely little guy. Uh, Christmas at Harrods. So you can buy a bag because they don't give out bags right here for six pounds. But if you want a big one, there are 20. Very nice. So I just finished my first food haul in Harrods Food Hall and I spent 45 pounds. I think I got two things of bread, some pasta and some pasta sauce. Yay, Harrods! I'm looking to the fresh market hall now. This could be very, very, very dangerous. I have a basket now. I think this might be a better situation because over here, right away, I see artichokes. So I grew up in California, and I'm used to artichokes Orama all the time. <laughs> okay, so look at these guys. They are pretty big. <laughs> they are a product of France, so here's my hand. They're, they're, I mean, they're a good size, but I'm going to pick out a couple good ones, if there are, and I will show you what I get. They're not the freshest of artichokes, but I am pleased to find artichokes. If you know and you're from California, you know you need some artichokes. In this room at Harrods, the fresh area, we have a delicatessen, we have fresh food, fruits and vegetables, we have a fishmonger, desserts, I bet there's cheese and a butchery as well. So this should be fun to go check it out. Oh, I do see the butchery or charcuterie right here. Let's take a look at that right now. Oh, and my goodness, I sound like a crazy person. Yeah, charcuterie right here. Lovely. Look at that ham. Gorgeous. 
all the salamis. Look at that, absolutely glorious. But I am here to try to find some food. So I've got bread and I have artichokes. I need to find some meat, I think. That's what I think I need to find. Or at least a whole bunch of cheese and I can hold off on the artichokes for another day. But I love it in here. It's like, it's like Trader Joe's on steroids, absolutely. <laughs> here at the Harrods meat counter. Look at the meat, isn't it beautiful? Absolutely oh, lovely. Let's come over here. I see some Jack's Creek Wagyu strip loin. So I have a feeling David wouldn't care for it because it's way too fatty. But oh my word. I wonder how much that is. It says 50% off. I would not even know how much that would be. But these are a proper Kobe meat bits. Yeah, beautiful, mature ribeye. We've got all the bacon. It looks beautiful. Looks like we've got some lovely lamb right here as well. They also do different kinds of skewers. They look lovely. But you know, nothing is really floating my boat, which is a shame. It all looks really nice though. I've decided on getting two of the Wagyu burgers. They look kind of nice. Nice and pink, so that might be a nice thing to have. Definitely. So I was at the butchery area in Harrods and I saw some proper real Wagyu steak and they're 50% off. Can you imagine how much they are now? They're only 50 pounds a piece. So, I would love to get one, but the gentleman behind the counter said, now I tried to cook it and it was not nearly as good as when I had it in the restaurant because the Japanese gentleman that cooked it for him knew exactly what they were doing. So, I think I need to try this at a restaurant first, but boy, that was a real, mm, I really would like to try a Wagyu steak. But I went easy and I got some Wagyu burgers for David and I. Wagyu burgers, we'll see how they are. I bet they're good. But now it's time for over at the cheese section, definitely. So I'm here at the Harrods cheese counter still and I've been given a lot of different kinds of cheeses to try. I love this place. It's like my Nirvana, definitely. So my favorite, it is a black truffle pecorno something or other. I'll show this to you right there. Look at the back. That is all pretty much black truffle in Italian cheese, if you know what that tastes like. So I am so happy here. Life is good and Harrods is awesome. Let's keep going. And if you are visiting the UK, they do sell your potted Stilton cheese. Oh yeah, Stilton is awesome. Look at, they even have it with port. Yeah, beautiful stuff right here. So a small one, it looks like it is 16 pounds a, per, a thing and the large ones are 26. Very nice. I don't want to be biased, but my God, I'm still at the cheese area. Look at this. It's gorgeous. 
all of that lovely Stilton. And look at this. Gorgonzola aroma. Wow. And you know what? Colton Bassett Blue Shropshire is something to take note. So if you're here visiting, get yourself some Colton Bassett Blue Shropshire. It is lovely. So on this trip, I'm really not going to be focusing at all on the chocolate hall, but look at this place. It's huge. If you want chocolate, come here for chocolate. You can even take home some nice gifts right here. Lots and lots and lots of chocolate. Let's go look really quick over here. Sorry about this horrible camera work, but look at the lovely truffles. Okay, so I said I wasn't going to get anything, but maybe, maybe four. Maybe two for me, two for David. I mean, you'd probably do that, wouldn't you? Just a few? Not many, just maybe six. Mm, lovely. Of course, we are in Paris. They have everything. They have La Durée as well. The beautiful, the most spectacular, I'm gonna pick up my bag again. The fabulous the macaroons. Look at them. Oh, lots of people here. I just got whomped. But yeah, beautiful. Right there. Absolutely fantastic. I caved. I got a few. I told myself I was not going to indulge in the chocolate haul, but I did. I ended up getting some macaroons for myself and some Godiva chocolates for David. <sighs> such a temptation at Harrods, I tell you, such a temptation. I'm here now with the smoked salmon. Look at this. Isn't it beautiful? And we even have proper crab. Oh yeah. I could eat that all by myself. And look at, oh my. Let's see. What is this? I don't know what this is, but it looks quite delicious. Oh yeah. Red king crab. Yeah. Red king crab right there. So I just picked up that little thing of king crab. It was 150 pounds. You know what? I ordered king crab on kingcrab.co.uk. I can get a lot more king crab for 150 pounds there. I'm gonna show you the beautiful fish that they have here. Isn't it just lovely? Just magnificent. <laughs> So have you seen your fresh fruit behind glass yet? You have now. Only at Harrods. Only at Harrods you'll see this. <laughs> it's lovely. Oh boy. Truffle mix, truffle mix. I almost want this, but I like the Fortnum and Mason ones better. I don't know if I do, but I think I do. Ooh, lovely rolls, wow. Come over here. So to go along with your magnificent selections of food, look at that. You can also get wine and champagne. There we go. Lovely. You know, just the piece de resistance. And I realized I was taken for a mug. <laughs> Woohoo! It's all good. So I've had a really nice time wandering the food halls at Harrods with you. So I hope you like. I think I'm going to continue this vlog on and show you what I ended up getting. And I will show you when I get home.
So I made it home from my trip to London into Harrods and to exploring the Harrods Food Hall. And let me tell you, I am exhausted. There is so much to see that you can never see it in one view. So I'm going to show you what I brought home in no particular order now. All right. So I found some truffle pasta. This looks really nice right here. It looks like it's from France, actually. Truffle pasta. I found the Laudere counter. You can see that. Laudere does uh, French little macaroons, and I purchased three of them. So I've got three of those for myself, and then I got three little truffles for David. Very nice. Let's see what else we have. A lovely a baguette. A lovely baguette. He looks nice. Very good. Probably have that tonight. And I also got a, a, a proper thing of sourdough. And I had them cut it up for me, so I'm looking forward to that. Ooh, it smells so good. Ooh, very nice. Uh, I purchased two Wagyu beef burgers. <laughs> Not that you're interested in seeing what a beef burger looks like, but I'm pretty excited about these. And I got five lobster-filled crab meat raviolis with some truffle butter. And then for David, I purchased some meat-filled shin beef uh, raviolis. And I also got pasta sauce to go with them. And that's this right here. Yeah, ooh, it's, it's really, really meaty looking. And it's from Pasta Evangelist. I don't know if you're familiar with that company, but they make really nice pasta. I'm looking forward to this. Um, got a couple things of goose foie gras. Mm. And uh, some truffle butter. I can't even imagine how wonderful that one's going to taste. And then to round it off, sorry about this, my first haul got uh, three different kinds of cheese. So I've got this cheese. It is, uh, let's see, it's a Tom de Chèvre, so it's, it's goat cheese, French goat cheese, and also oh, Stinking Bishop is what this is called. <laughs> can't really tell what it looks like, but ooh, gorgeous and stinky. And the piece de resistance is my black truffle picorno. A lovely truffle infused picorno cheese. So all in all, a very, very happy haul for myself and for David. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you again next time in Wonderland. Bye-bye.